WXII 12 News at 4 starts right now. I'm very grateful to God and to the community that we're alive. She thought it was a dream, her apartment complex on fire. 13 people now displaced, how neighbors stepped in to help the victims. Plus, voter ID requirement will soon be halted in North Carolina, what it means for voters and lawmakers in 2020. And the flu season is ramping up. Why, you might want to get the flu shot if you live in our state. Just days after Christmas, 13 people are now looking for a place to stay after a fire ripped through a Lexington apartment complex. It happened early this morning at the Fairview Village Apartments. Four units damaged. Luckily, no one was hurt. That's good news. Now, I spoke with a woman who says she's just grateful her family and pets were able to get out in time. I'm very grateful to God and to the community that we're alive. The Lexington Fire Department says crews responded to Fairview Village Apartments just before 4 Friday morning. Crews say smoke was coming from a second floor apartment and the roof. Uh, my daughter-in-law smelled smoke. My son uh, was running through the apartment. Um, fire, fire everyone out. Of course, that groggy state, um, I thought it was a dream at first, and then I opened my bedroom door and saw smoke. Four units were damaged, and 13 people were displaced, including Christina Alciati and her family. My son actually had one of his daughters under one arm like a football and the other one like a football, and he ran down two flights of stairs in just his boxers. Four adults, two children, and several pets were inside at the time of the fire. No one or animal was hurt. Alciati says her smoke alarm did not go off and most of her belongings were damaged. It was surreal just that moment to see everything, you know, in the state that it was in. Everything smells like smoke. A neighbor saw what was happening and quickly jumped in to help. And I heard sirens and got up to just check out what was going on and I saw my neighbors running across the yard half naked with kids in their arms and I did what I think anybody should do. Ray Butcher, a nurse, took in all six of them and the animals. It was that moment where you just it put your faith back in humanity with all the bad stuff that goes on in the world. Now Red Cross is assisting those displaced by the fire. Waffle House, where Christina and her son work, have also offered to help them find a place to stay and plan to buy her and her son new work clothes. Now the cause of that fire is undetermined pending further investigation. Happening now, High Point police have identified one of the two people shot around the holidays. Officers say 27 year old Kalen Ewing died during his second surgery on Christmas Eve. Investigators tell us Ewing and another victim were shot multiple times on Sharon Street on Monday. The second victim is in stable condition. Anyone with information is urged to call police. A 19 year old turned himself into High Point police for the murder of an 18 year old on Christmas Eve. Deontay Thomas is charged with first degree murder in the death of John Schof. Schof was found shot on Christmas Eve morning on Exdale Drive. Thomas is also charged with robbery. He's in jail on a $75,000 bond. A final farewell to a Winston-Salem sanitation worker killed on the job. Today, co-workers of Terry Cobb Jr. set up this memorial. That's a truck Cobb used to ride in with his uniform on the display on the top. Funeral services are underway at Red Bank Baptist Church in Germington. Now, he will be buried at Carolina Biblical Gardens in Jamestown. Cobb was shot and killed a week ago at the Johnson Municipal Services Center. Another co-worker and officer were also shot in this incident. The suspected gunman was killed during a shootout with police. Police. In 2020, you will not need to show a photo ID when you show up to cast a ballot this upcoming year in North Carolina. Next week, a federal judge plans to halt the mandate that is supposed to go into effect for the March primary following a lawsuit filed by the state NAACP. That group argues the law discriminates against minorities and people in poverty. The latest bad faith attempt in a string of failed efforts by the North Carolina General Assembly to impede the right to vote of African Americans and Latinos in this state and to blunt the force of the true will of the people. 40 in the negative. Opponents argue the county boards in North Carolina now issue free IDs and the new measure accepts a wide range of IDs.